Welcome back to another edition of the Daily Dose of Weird News, Weirdos. Today is International Dog Biscuit Appreciation Day. Now, I personally don't know much about this topic, but, you, you know, we might consider asking um, Milo Yiannopoulos. Ask him what uh, his favorite flavor is. He's a dog. I'm Darren Marlar from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A woman in Scotland managed to fight off a sword-wielding attacker at a fast-food restaurant armed with only a plastic fork. <laughs> well, duh! A sword has only one sharp point, a fork has four! That's 300 percent more pointy! UPS became the latest company to test drones yesterday when it ran a test of a truck-launched drone delivery system for rural areas in Florida. Says UPS VP Mark Wallace, while the drone is making its delivery, the driver would continue to the next stop, make another delivery by hand, and the drone would then rendezvous and recharge on top of the UPS truck. Hey, where's your drone, Phil? I'm not sure, but, but I lost it over that way in the direction of that explosion and fireball! In Germany, a woman has been arrested after beating and suffocating her cousin as part of an exorcism. Now that's going to make Thanksgiving awkward. Staying off Facebook? That can make you happier. The study out of Denmark used 1,095 participants, with half being asked to dump Facebook for a week. And the results showed that those who left Facebook reported significantly higher life satisfaction, which I have a hard time believing. I mean, because how can you possibly be happy without posting pictures to the world of what you're having for lunch? I don't think that's, I don't think that's possible. Parents in Ohio have been arrested after their eight-year-old son overdosed on heroin. Well, I should hope so! You should always limit the amount of heroin you give to your children. A Texas woman who allowed wild animals to freely roam her home where she lived with her 14-year-old daughter has been charged with child endangerment. Trisha Meyer was arrested after police discovered a large male tiger and three tiger cubs, along with monkeys, a skunk, a fox, and a cougar in her home with her teenage daughter, who is homeschooled, living there. Now, On top of child endangerment, the mom is also being charged with child cruelty for making her daughter clean out the kitty litter box. Police in the town of Suffield, Connecticut have put out a weird warning, reminding people not to open their doors to any unfamiliar cattle. Well, the humorous warning came after a pair of young bulls escaped from their pen and were found and photographed near the front door of a property a couple of houses away. Police managed to move them along, eventually, and steer them back to where they belonged. And then for fun, officers posted the photos of the bulls on Facebook, saying two suspicious males were going door to door trying to sell dairy products. Because, you know, you just don't get a lot of opportunity for that level of hilarity in Suffield, Connecticut. One recent day at a U.S. Air Force base in Germany, things got a little tense. That's because personnel working at Spangdalem Air Base saw a message pop up on their computers stating, Missile inbound. Seek shelter immediately. But it turns out that was a mistake. The message was accidentally sent out on an emergency alert system for the 52nd Fighter Wing section of the NATO base. Someone was working on a design for the message and intended to send it to one person to check, but they sent it out widely by mistake. That person has now been transferred and is working at the base in Antarctica. If you like the show, please click that like button and share with others. Become an official weirdo by clicking that subscribe button, and be sure to click that bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. This episode is made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. If you're a weird patron, you can receive daily dose of weird news and weird darkness t-shirts and mugs, audiobooks I've narrated, and you'll get exclusive content available just for my patrons. Find out more about becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Darren Marlar or click the Patreon button at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For Marlar House and DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.